what's up guys it's josie and today i'm going to do another school box line review um i have i feel like i haven't done one of these for a while and the main reason is um is because um i most of these lines that i review i get them from target some of them are from dollar general or walmart but usually i get them from target and i really been hard to find slimes that I haven't reviewed yet because I made so many of these and so sometimes I like to review stuff that like the same like texture or whatever but in a different color because sometimes that can kind of affect it so I would like to apologize for that um I might not do too many of these um well I'll keep doing them but like um I might not review a bunch of different types of slime anymore unless a really new cool one comes out because um yeah I just it's been really hard okay I apologize for the slightly long intro let's get into it so this first one is this play-doh nickelodeon slime and I don't know if it's like a I don't know it's probably a collaboration or something which is kind of cool so it has this white slime and this pink slime and also these little <laughs> add-in thingamajigs it's kind of like a valentine's day slime it's kind of cool um, I don't know if it's supposed to be or not, but it kind of looks like it, so that's cool. Um, this came in a very unique packaging, kind of looks like bubble wrap. Um, and but it was actually really hard to get this stuff out of the packaging, and actually, so um, I'm just trying to open it up here, and actually, I didn't realize that the beads weren't like in a baggie or anything, so they flew all over. So yeah, I had to pick them up. Okay, so this first one is the white one, so, and it's also kind of like a cream color too, it's kind of cool. So it came with these little rubber add-ins that are pink and white, I decided to add a few more on top. It's really a cute slime. So this texture, uh, I think it's, uh, it's an interesting texture. Um, it's very, it's, it's stretchy and jiggly. And it doesn't stick to itself very much. And the rubber kind of, the rubber add-ins kind of fall out. But that's, they, they don't fall out too much. So, yeah, I like this texture, sort of. It's very unique. Um, So, I think it's kind of cute. A cute little slime. And I think it's kind of cool overall. And, yeah, the camera fell. Anyways, so, yeah, I think this is a cute slime. And it's not bad at all. This next one from this pack is this, um, it's like this pink one, hot pink. I think this one is even cooler because it's pink and pink is cool and I don't know. <laughs> I just, I like pink. It's not my number one favorite color, but I like it. So I added the rest of the little rubber things to this one. This one's a pretty similar texture, so it's very jiggly and stretchy and doesn't stick to itself very much. So overall, I think this pack is pretty good. It's not the best in the world, but the rubber addeds do give it a unique feeling, and they were falling out at first because they weren't fully mixed in. It was so, yeah, the, the add-ins give it kind of a unique feeling. So overall, I think this pack is not bad at all, and I think it's, it's just really cute again. So I'm going to give this entire pack probably a 9 out of 10. This um this next one right here is this amazing slime XO splits flare palooza. And I've reviewed a few of these before. And this one is also kind of looks like a Valentine's Day slime. Um I don't think it, it's not it's it's not supposed to be a Valentine's Day slime, I don't think. But it's kind of cool since it's coming up soon. So yeah. So the top is um okay, so it's like so the bottom is like a purplish, maroonish color, and then the top is more of a reddish orangish type thing going on here and the top part is a lot brighter and yeah it's pretty similar in texture to the other ones like this I've reviewed kind of feels like a wet jelly slime that starts out kind of stringy and then after you mix it it comes together I don't know it's kind of strange it has a lot of glitter it has chunky glitter um silver chunky glitter and also silver um moon glitter and also a lot of fine glitter so the bottom part here is that um, pinkish, purplish type slime, or type color. And uh, yeah, there's a plastic thing separating it, and it was kind of difficult to get it off, but it wasn't that hard since it like just slipped out because of how slippery the slime was. 
And this one was pretty much the same texture, but it wasn't quite as severe. So let me just mix these. It took a while to mix it and make it come together because it like was so stringy and wet and stuff. But after like five to ten minutes, I got it to come together. And it, since it kind of looks like a Valentine's Day slime, I tried to make like a little heart out of it. So overall, this isn't a horrible slime, but it's not like the best ever because of the amount of glitter fallout that it has. And also, it's not very, it's not super stretchy. Um, you can get a decent stretch out of it if you stretch it like pretty slowly just to prevent ripping. But if you added like hair gel or clear glue or even glycerin, or if you even soaked it in warm water... This might be a pretty good slime, so I would say go for it if you really want to try it out. Just note that there will be quite a bit of glitter fallout, and it actually got pretty stuck on my hands. It was pretty hard to get it off. So this one, I think I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Because it has potential, so it's not that bad. So the last one I'm going to review is this Play-Doh Slime Set. I reviewed, I think, one of these before, and it was the pink, orange, and blue set. So the one I'm reviewing today is this yellow, blue, and purple set. These are all, like, metallic -y colors, and I think they're really pretty. <laughs> I was not expecting them to all just fly out when I pushed one of them out. It was hilarious. Oh, no. Well, actually, no, I didn't push it out. When I opened it, <laughs> it was hilarious. I just... Just all of them flew out. So if you hear me talking out of the voiceover, that's why. So the first one I'm going to review is this blue slime. I love this shimmery blue. It's gorgeous. It's almost, it's actually, it's almost like a teal. Maybe it's supposed to be a teal. I don't really know. But either way, it's like bluish and it's gorgeous. This texture is similar to the first ones I reviewed today. It's very elastic and jiggly. And it's like, it stretches a ton. Like, it stretches really, really far. But you really can't do a ton with it. Like, it doesn't make a bunch of bubble pops and stuff because it doesn't really like to stick to itself. And it doesn't, you can't really do pokes with it. I like this texture, but I feel like some people like it and some people don't. Like, I've definitely, I don't know. I like this texture a lot, though. So this one is... Not bad again. It's just, it's really nice if you want to just stretch it and you don't really want to make bubble pops or anything. So it's not bad, once again. So this next one is the yellow one. And yeah, this one is basically just the same texture. It's jiggly, stretches a ton, and... It is, um, very, um, I don't know. <laughs> it just, yeah, it just doesn't stick to itself, so it doesn't make a bunch of bubbles or anything like that. So, yeah. So, it's, these are pretty cool if, um, for just what they are. Like, it's not like a normal slime, but they're still really cool. So, yeah. So, this last one is the purple one. And this one is the same texture. So, I'm probably not going to repeat all that stuff. Look at that bubble on the top. So for this entire pack, I think it's pretty good. Just be aware that they're jiggly and they don't make a lot of ASMR. So if you like, it, it, okay, I'm just saying if you prefer those types of slimes over this type of thing, then you probably wouldn't like these very much. But I personally like them. They're just fun to hold and stuff. So this pack, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. There was nothing wrong with any of them. They're beautiful colors. And that's all I have to say.
that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please like and subscribe to join the Butterfly Baby Salon family. And um, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, night, afternoon, whatever it is for you. I'm not sure. But I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you. Well, I hope I see you next time. Goodbye.